historic landmark is up against the clock. Casey's Sour Castle was built in the 1800s and it hasn't been repaired or had any repairs done in 15 years. Now some are worried if it isn't fixed soon, the county will be forced to tear it down. KCTV 5's Lisa D'Souza joins us live from Shawnee Road to fill us in on the rest of this debate. Lisa. Well, Dave and Alexis, we would love to take you inside the Sour Castle, but unfortunately this is as close as we can get because of this metal fence here protecting the building from vandals. And neighbors say vandals are really the only people stopping by this vacant spot these days, and they know this one-of-a-kind landmark could really be so much more. Behind two layers of fence, the Sour Castle is full of stories, dating back more than 100 years to its inception in 1872. Yet for the past 15 years, it stood empty. I kind of grew up there when I was 10, 12, 13. A childhood memory for Gerald Matz, who's lived down the street from the architectural landmark for 58 years. Now he's watching it slowly fall apart. The roof, the porch, decaying. Well, I like to see it restored. The historic Kansas City Foundation working to do just that. The Sour Castle landing on its endangered building list the past two years. Well, it, it obviously is suffering from some neglect. But they can't do much. The foundation's executive director says it's been some time since anyone has heard from the current owner, a distant relative of Antoine Sour living in New York. Meantime, dire repairs 15 years behind schedule. We're sort of looking at a case of, you know, little by little, um, just the building falling apart. And if it gets to the point where it can't be saved, then, then I, you know, it would be, it would, real, it would be a real shame to, to have to deal with that situation. The historic foundation, along with neighbors like Max, desperate to spread the word about the castle estate to ensure it stands tall in the KCK community and opens its doors once more. I mean, you can really tell that this building has a lot of history, and I think that has the ability to sort of capture people's imaginations a little bit. A lot of people feel a really strong connection in other ways to this house because of what it represents. And that's why they're trying to spread the word along with other groups. We reached out to the owner about a week ago and haven't heard back. But yesterday he posted online that he's upset about all the negative attention this building's been receiving. Now the government says they can only seize the property if it's deemed unsafe or if the owner is late on his taxes. We're live in KCK. Lisa D'Souza, KCTV5 News. Dave and Alexis. Okay, thank you Lisa for that. Turning out of your weather and traffic.